We've got second quarter results from SoundHound. It's an interesting business here. There's a business story behind one stock on the move. I'm Futurum Group's chief market strategist, Corey Johnson. SoundHound, we care about. Well, frankly, I wouldn't care about this company at all if NVIDIA hadn't made a big investment in them uh, announced last year. It's just interesting. It's a small business, but interesting. So I've been following this company that does voice artificial intelligence. You can imagine the NVIDIA interest in such a thing. Um, and so uh, the company raising their guidance for the year, they announced an, uh, an acquisition this morning. Let's look at what the business actually did and what it promises for the future. $13.5 million in revenue, not a ton for this business, but they've got over $200 million in cash, which they're gonna need because they're burning through a lot of money. Uh, but their revenue growth has increased significantly, not as fast as last quarter, but still pretty good. Uh, pretty good quarter for them in terms of revenue growth but very small still, uh, their losses persist. They are blowing through a lot more money than they're able to make uh, in their sales up to this point in time. Although there's hope of course that that will increase, but 54% increase in revenue, not so bad. But um, they acquired a company called Emilia, which is gonna help them uh, with the business that they've done so well in, which is uh, offering sound-based uh, analysis of voices and and commands and questions. Um, uh, they've had great success in the restaurant world, in fast food restaurants, people driving up and screaming into the box uh, and then trying to figure out what they want to order. Uh, this device supposedly works better. So they announced a big deal with Beef O'Brady's. I have yet to go to a Beef O'Brady's. Sounds fantastic. It's a family sports bar and grill according to the press release. But adding these customers one by one has been the excitement at SoundHound um, as they try to get into more devices. They're also um, into full production, lots of cars made outside the US in Peugeot, Opel, Citroen, Alfa Romeo, all those Stellantis brands um, in Europe. So all those cars are gonna have, or many of those cars will have the offering from SoundHound in the future. So how did the stock react? Well, it was up today with the announcement of the deal in the morning. When the results uh, came out, the stock was down. So it's up 5%, down 5% in a day for the year, however. Oh my goodness, up over 160%. And you've seen a steady revenue growth, a compound annual growth rate of over 50% over the last four years or so. And a gross margins over 70%, you'd expect so from kind of a software business here. Um, and they are adjusted EBITDA positive, but I don't care about adjusted EBITDA. We want actual profits. Maybe someday. Here's a CEO talking about uh, some of the successes that they have had in the quarter. This is Kevon Mojer uh, talking about the last quarter from SoundHound. I mean, the acquisition makes us, uh, gives us a lot more scale in Pillar 2. Um, we always knew we were going to expand beyond restaurants. We said that restaurants to us are like what books were to Amazon. They started with books, now they sell everything. And we've always wanted to expand um, in AI customer service to other industries. And uh, when we looked at, um, you know, we have the, an amazing tech that we can deliver to these brands, but uh, um, it takes time to uh, penetrate the customer base and understand their needs and even integrate with their infrastructure, especially for, um, you know, bigger enterprise uh, customers. So there you have it from Kivan Mohajer, as I try to pronounce his name. Yes, interesting company, like I said, that NVIDIA investment raises a lot of eyebrows with the company, certainly raised the stock price in the last year. All right, but what's one number that tells us a whole lot about this business? It's about the promise of this business. Can't say it's gonna happen, but it's super interesting. The Drill Down Earnings Bite right after this. The Drill Down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data, thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. So SoundHound second quarter earnings. Here's the uh, absolute most important things you want to know. $13.5 million. That's good for revenue. Certainly a lot more than the same time last year. $200 million in cash still on the balance sheet. But the one number that tells you a whole lot, I think, is when they look at the world of connected devices, that's the, uh, the, the entire universe they imagine that they can send, sell into and people can access SoundHound's information. There will be 75.4 billion connected devices in the world, according to some studies that they like to cite. That's how big they think their market could be someday for SoundHound. All right, thanks for checking out Drill Down Earnings. Check me out at X at Corey TV and at Drill Down Pod and Twitter, Instagram, and of course, 6.5 Media's YouTube page.